Hi guys, how we doing today? On this Monday um, afternoon now, actually, my day's thrown off a little bit. Um, but today's video is going to be about some warning signs that your body has hidden inflammation. So I'm Kelsey Mashad, and I'm a certified health and life coach and I help people to master effective habits and mindset so that they can lose weight sustainably and just become the healthiest version of themselves. Hi Suzanne, how are you doing today? Thank you for coming on with me. So, um, you know, stress, hi Ron. Stress is um, a huge topic lately, and I don't know about you guys, but my day was um, has been a little bit different just schedule-wise. Um, you know, I had to do school this morning with my daughter, and she's a, a preschooler. It's her first year of preschool, so, um, you know, it was actually pretty fun, actually. You know, we followed the routine from that was sent to us from the teacher, and they had a few online things and a lot of stuff we did around the house and, and it was good, but it's just a new and different schedule. So that can throw people off and cause a little bit of stress until you get used to that too. So I'm, I'm curious for you guys, you know, what is um, your new new routine or what's different for you and what's coming up for you? Um, I know for myself as well, you know, there's more people in the house that I'm used to, you know, in the morning and um, the early afternoon, like my husband being home, both of my kids, um, I have two daughters, um, one is doing high school work, the other one's doing preschool work, it's, um, you know, it, it's a lot and everybody's around and I'm not, I'm so used to having that nice quiet in the morning so that I can talk to you guys and share my information and um, be there for you guys. So it's a little later in the afternoon and that's okay because um, I'm still here and I'm still getting it done, so I hope that you guys are able to do the same. And um, I got my exercise in this morning too. That's another thing, you know, with my gym being closed, that's that's a stressor as well. So, you know, with, when we have stress, that's going to affect us, and that's going to affect both our mind and our body. So as we know, chronic inflammation it's actually the root cause of all disease. So you may not even see the inflammation, but you can bet it's there, especially if you're not eating right, um, if you're not exercising regularly, and that's because inflammation is actually the body's natural response um, to our stressors. So it could be through either your diet can um, be stressing your body. Um, hi, hi, Daisy, thank you for coming on. Our diet can stress our body if we're not eating properly. Um, it could be something physical. It could be something in our environment. Um, like I just said, you know, my family's home now that I'm not used to, um, and that's throwing things off a little bit. Um, it could be something emotional. So once your body starts to become inflamed, and then it puts you at risk for things like, um, like weight gain and migraines. Um, other things like allergies, colds and flus, and just, just getting sick more often, but then it can lead to things more serious um, like gout and heart disease and stroke and diabetes and Alzheimer's and even cancer. So even if you're, you're somebody who's already like super healthy, you can still have some type of inflammation, especially if you're living in today's world in our, in our toxin-filled world you will have inflammation and especially now and i hate to have to keep saying that but you know we are all under a lot more stress at this time so the real question is what do we do about it well you know where is that inflammation and where does it actually start so i'm curious for you to just pause for a moment and actually think about that where do you think the inflammation actually begins somewhere um, within our body. Where do you think that would be? I'm gonna give you a moment. I want you to think about that before I go on. Where do you think your inflammation is going to actually begin when you're feeling stress? Would you be surprised to learn that most inflammation actually begins in your gut? Because people tend to overlook their digestive system as a source of disease, but it makes sense because uh, my joints, Suzanne, yes, we will feel it in our joints, but that's um, not where it actually first began. Because, um, you know, we tend to overlook, hi Jill, how are you? Thanks for coming on. Um, we tend to overlook our digestive system 
um, as that source of disease because you know it makes sense because when you consider that our guts are actually the home of 70% of our immune system and it's where 80% of our immune cells actually live. So chronic inflammation can actually show up in many different ways, um, but, but I wanna share with you the five most common signs that you can look for. So these are things that you can easily look for right now. So number one could be your, you might be having digestive problems. Um, things like gas and diarrhea and bloating and constipation. These can come from, um, from a sick, inflamed, over permeable gut. And that's, um, you know, things like a leaky gut and that allows those toxins um, to escape into your bloodstream, which is the leading cause of our, our chronic inflammation throughout our body. So two, you could be feeling tired all the time. So if you're feeling tired and fatigued, your inflamed cells are actually what they consider to be sick cells. And that, that's because they can't produce the energy that you actually need to feel awake and refreshed. So as a result of that, then you're gonna feel really tired and fatigued. And even when you get, you know, even when you're just getting out of bed in the morning and by the afternoon, you're just completely exhausted. So that could be a warning sign right there. Um, three, um, could be skin problems. That's another way it can show up. So, um, you know, people that experience uh, high levels of stress, they produce a higher amount of inflammatory chemicals um, than those that don't. So as our skin is considered a primary um, indication of our health, it's not surprising that these stress chemicals can lead to or even just you know make these conditions worse um, with things like um, acne and psoriasis. So that's something to keep an eye on um, for yourself as well. And number four, you might have a spare tire around your midsection there, around your waist, and if you do, that's because fat cells in your abdomen, they actually produce more inflammatory chemicals. And the more belly fat that you have, the more that these chemicals um, will be created. So um, there was actually a doctor, a cardiovascular um, medicine expert, Peter Libby, and he actually says that he calls this um, belly fat a hotbed of inflammation. So that's another sign for you to look out for. And five, last but not least, um, Suzanne, as you mentioned, you know, your joints will feel achy sometimes. Well, that's, that's it right there, aches and pains. You know, if you feel achy on a regular basis though, um, you know, like in your muscles, your joints, or, or even all over, you can, you can bet there's some inflammation going on in your body. So when your immune cells or your fat cells um, produce inflammatory chemicals, and they're actually called cytokines, you're going to experience a feeling of this higher level of pain and sensitivity or even stiffness in your joints. So, hi Kim, how are you? Thank you for coming on. So these things can also show up in things that are even worse like fibromyalgia or arthritis. Um, and those are some of the common symptoms of the excessive inflammation going on in your body. So, um, you know, so what are some of the things that we can actually do to help with this chronic inflammation? Well, first you want to begin just by cutting out these highly inflammatory foods, you know, like sugar and, and grains, you know, right out of your diet and then try eating more like lean protein and vegetables and the, the healthy fats and try um, even some gut healing bone broth is really, really good for um, inflammation in your body and a nice dose of that is like anti-inflammatory power right there and <clears throat> especially sorry, and exercise, exercise daily. You gotta get up and move, okay? You gotta move your body, you gotta get enough sleep, and de-stress yourself with um, techniques like, uh, like mindfulness meditation and journaling and prayer and things like that. And that will help to you know, turn down your, um, your inflammatory response within your body. Um, especially during this stressful time, you know, we need to do things to de-stress our bodies that, you know, that we can still try to live as healthy as possible during this time. So if you have any questions about the content I just covered, if you're not sure about um, <clears throat> what's going on with your own body and your own health, we can jump on a call. I do complimentary consultations and I'm going to leave the link for you. I'll leave that for you below. I'm sorry if you can keep hearing that doorbell. That's my dog. She wants to go out because she heard the, the FedEx truck or something go by. <laughs> so, um, 
So yeah, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out um, with your health, your weight, your stressors, anything that's going on. I'm here for you at this time. We can all work through it and work through also, you know, doing some de-stressing techniques together as well. So I'll be back on again, um, you know, with more stuff to de-stress our, ourselves, um, you know, during this time too. So I hope everyone has a great day as best they can, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.